With E3 fast approaching, there's of course a lot of discussion around what games are going to be there, what do we hope for, what surprises are there going to be, and of course a lot of that discussion is centred around what From Software are up to. But there have already been rumours about Bloodborne 2, which have been pretty much been debunked, or at least the leak that we had has been debunked, but doesn't doesn't necessarily mean that we won't see Bloodborne 2, of course. But some new rumours have surfaced about a new IP from From Software. Now, of course, Miyazaki has pretty much said that they're done with Dark Souls now that the DLC is done. He didn't directly reference Bloodborne, but the, with what he said, he kind of implied they were done with that style of game. But what are they working on? Well, according to a Reddit post from a user who is allegedly fairly on point according to other users, but I can't really find too much to back this up, I'm purely going for what people are saying. But regardless of that, according to one Reddit user, they're going to be having a new IP at E3 called Phantom Whale. And this is from a notorious leaker who is usually quite accurate, apparently, as I already said. So... This game, I think, is going to definitely have some Souls influence in it, because obviously they've learned a lot from the Souls series, and obviously Bloodborne as well. But from the description here, it sounds like it's going to be very different. Also, for the first thing, it's going to have an ancient Aztec slash Mayan slash tribal aesthetic, and there's going to be, once again, an emphasis on hand-to-hand -hand combat and fighting styles. So, different styles of martial arts, so switching between different stances, I suppose you could say. Now, there's going to be traditional melee weapons, but they won't have weapon-based movesets, and they won't be heavily focused. It's more just you and your skill, as far as I can understand. And you can even personalise and customise your hand-to-hand movesets and fighting styles, and there's also customization for weapon fighting styles as well. This kind of sounds like some other ideas that we've seen done recently in other games that are very similar. And all of this might sound very similar to a game by the name of Absolver. Uh, it's entirely possible that, of course, that From Software and the Absolver guys are thinking of similar trains of thought, but let's, let's finish the room before we get into that. Now, it, it is apparently the Souls-like dark fantasy game that Miyazaki, when mention, Miyazaki mentioned sorry, when interviewed about the future of From Software. And obviously, he did also say that Armored Core is also going to be among that as well, but this seems to be the sort of stepping stone between that and them moving away more fully from the Souls style. So it's definitely going to be a Souls-like and it's also apparently going to be yet another Sony exclusive title. Now obviously we should take all of this with a massive pinch of salt. With E3 approaching it is pretty important to take every, pretty much every rumour with a pinch of salt that's regarding games because obviously people love to make things up and even if this is slightly true it could be old information, it could be inaccurate, maybe this game does exist but won't be till next E3, you know 2018. We just don't know. So, I mentioned Absolver. Now, Absolver is a game where you can create your own moveset from many martial arts styles available. It also has melee weapons and all that sort of stuff. So there are definitely some similarities between the two. Not enough where I'd say that this person has just taken ideas from Absolver and said, yeah, 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 this is a new From Software game to make it sound more credible. But I think there's definitely going to be a bit of similarity um, sort of an inadvertent similarity between the two, at least a little bit, you know. There's going to be a sort of influence, as it were, but obviously this game would have been in development long before Absolver even was a thing if we're getting it to come out soon, or at least reveal that E3, I would assume that we're going to be seeing some gameplay or something, and whether or not we see it this year, tough to say. We might, we might not. But it's definitely interesting to see that kind of cross-influence, I guess, suppose you could say, between those two games. It is entirely possible that whoever did this leak, quote unquote, looked at Resolver, said, yeah, that could be a Dark Souls game, and again, made their rumours seem more credible, or it could just very much be that From Software were thinking on a similar train as the Absolver guys, as I already said. So, all of this sounds really interesting, I have to say, and it does sound like there's definitely some soul stuff in there, like the focus on melee combat and the sort of choosing your own style with the personalisation. Obviously, in Souls, you can very much. Choose your own build, even within certain classes. You can, you know, you can start as a knight and end up as a as a as a mage if you really want. I mean, it'd be kind of an arduous task, but you could do it. And that definitely sounds like a from software kind of attitude to have. And it definitely sounds like this formula would fit well within 
well, from software's sort of attitude and how they develop games and that sort of thing. Like a, a game like this made by From Software pretty much sounds like right up my alley. To be honest with you, I would be more than happy with this, and a change in aesthetic would also be interesting. It could also still be dark, even with the Aztec Mayan tribal thing going on, but obviously very different to that of the sort of realistic style that we've seen in Dark Souls and kind of in Bloodborne. Obviously Bloodborne was very much more gothic, but obviously you still had a fair amount of realism in terms of like the colour palette and that sort of thing. So yeah, I think this definitely sounds interesting. I personally am crossing my fingers that this is true. I mean Bloodborne 2 would be nice. But I'm not expecting it. They've made it clear they're done with that series, that being Souls slash Bloodborne, and they want to move away from it because, to be fair, they have been making that same style of game for years now, and I wouldn't be surprised if they're a tad tired of it. So, not expecting Bloodborne 2, I won't complain, but this could also be quite nice, and it would be nice to get on other platforms as well. You know, if there's one thing I want to be wrong about it, is for it to be the PS4 exclusive thing, because obviously I want to play it on PC if at all possible, but. If I have to crack out the PS4 to play this, then that's just what I'll have to do. Let me know your thoughts and opinions, though, guys. I'll see you next time.